Hi everyone, it's Enchanted. Thank you so much for tuning in. So in today's video, we are going to be picking cards to see how they feel about you right now. So as you can see, we have four crystals in front of you. We have crystal one, the clear quartz, crystal two, pyrite, crystal three, green jasper, and crystal four, red quartz. So go ahead and take a second to meditate upon these crystals and pick one that resonates with you the most, or pick one that you are the most energetically drawn to. You can pick based on anything. You can pick based on the properties, the colors, and um, you can also pick a pile based on the timestamps. It is really up to you. So yeah, go ahead and take a second to do that and we will see you in your respective pile. Hi Pile 1, welcome to your reading. So you all pick the Clear Crystal Quartz. So yeah, we're going to go ahead and pick some cards to see how they currently feel about you. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and pick some cards from the Thelema Tarot deck. Okay, we got Ten of Wands. We got the Sun. Okay, that's really positive. Six of Pentacles. And the Seven of Pentacles, okay, a lot of Earth energy coming in here, um, and Fire. So maybe someone could be an Earth sign or Fire sign. Earth sign is Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Fire sign is Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and start with uh, the Ten of Wands here. So I feel like your person really, really, really wants this with you okay like they want a happy ending they want to be together with you they want to like you know um be in your presence have fun go out on dates you know picnic like i feel like they want to be like you know with you physically um if you guys are at some sort of distance or maybe you haven't talked in a while trust me when i say they really miss you they really miss your touch they really miss like literally just being around you being able to like you know see you in the flesh like you know it's a lot different than facetiming or video calling or even you know yeah, like calling on the phone, of course, like they want to be able to like, you know, smell you and like, you know, feel you like I have this beautiful, um, like tablecloth thing here. That's like silk. And yeah, for whatever reason, like I'm really um, getting a lot of spiritual downloads about like senses, like, you know, they want to um, heighten their senses, like, you know, uh, see, hear, feel, touch, things like that. Yeah. Um, so I am really seeing that they miss like physically being around you and they really want that. Yeah. Um, however, I am seeing with this 10 of wands, um, they are burdened right now. I feel like there is a lot going on in regards to um, some sort of like external thing going on. I feel like it has to do with work because we did get a lot of pentacles and that has to do with, you know, work, career, finance. They are feeling really burdened in that sense. Yeah, but even though they are going through all that, I am seeing that they still think about you. They still care about you. They still are very much um, attracted to you. Um, you know, they are really willing to work on this, okay? The cool thing is that, you know, um, this is sort of like a fantasy card. You know, they are fantasizing about a future with you. But, you know, the uh, with these Pentacles card cards, this tells me that they actually want to act upon that and, you know, make that a reality, which is good because as I always say you know obviously passion love things like that you know um are vital in a relationship but not as much as um not or not not as much as but like you know you can have all those things but like the willingness to work on the relationship you know the more like nitty-gritty adult details like patience bills you know stuff like that like is also important and I feel like this person um, is ready to pay attention to those things which is good because um, I'm really seeing that this person is thinking about like something long term with you okay but um, I am seeing that they are the kind of people to kind of sort out what is going on before they can really come forward and even express that because um, I'm also seeing like they don't have to be an earth sign uh, they could be or maybe they have earth aspects but like <laughs> they have the energy of an earth sign and i say that because um earth signs don't like being burdens to other people this person does not want to burden you with their problems it's, a, it's actually one of their biggest fears because you know they are the kind of people that you know they do undergo a lot of stress and pressure maybe it has something to do with work but i'm seeing that like you know this is something that they need to fix themselves like don't get me wrong they'll be there for you and like whatever mentality they have about not being burdened 
burdens or not being a burden it's so different when it comes to like applying that to other people like this is the kind of person who like you know they wouldn't mind if you um were to reach out to them or talk to them about something that was going on in your life but like you know they don't want to be the ones to um like be reliant or dependent like i'm seeing um yeah they really don't want to be codependent at all they care a lot about their individuality and sense of self and you know it's I'm just gonna say it like if this person commits to you if this person is into you or you know chooses to spend time with you like consider yourselves lucky because they don't give that to just anyone and everyone okay I'm even seeing um that maybe they could be like an introvert or like you know they just like spending a lot of alone time um so that that's a good thing because that means whenever they are with people they really do cherish that you know they really do cherish the time that you spent and you know could still be spending together if you are still seeing this person but i channel that one quote where it's all like oh yeah your company has to be better than my alone time you know so i i do feel like that is the case with this person um yeah they don't just give their heart or even like time energy effort to anyone easily so you do mean a great big deal to them if you know, that is not if, like, this person did decide to do that with you. So, yeah, um, that's, you know, it, it, that's a really endearing message. I know it sounds kind of like, oh, you're lucky to be with this person. Like, not, I'm not trying to say that at all. In fact, if anything, I feel like they're lucky to be with you because, you know, um, they feel like you bring about a lot of peace, joy, love, and light into their life. You know, they really like your energy. They really like your vibe. They really like everything that you, um, brought to this connection and I feel like you know this person really wants to make sure that things are fair to you that they're um, contributing to this connection as much as you are and you know they really are willing to work on this with you the seven of pentacles is all about um you know it literally means like manifestations coming true and also like reaping the benefits of your labor so you know that translates to like working at something you know hard work like they're willing to put in the work um they're yeah in this relationship so um that, that's a really great thing wow okay that ended up being a really like good reading um i feel like every reading is good <laughs> you no matter like what the messages are but trust me when i say this person is serious about you okay like with the six and seven it's not exactly a nine or a ten of pentacles yet so maybe they still kind of are like wondering you, you know they do care a lot about their future and like you know they are starting to think about how they want to incorporate you in their future okay there are still a couple more steps to go but it really is there like i feel like this person um sees you as like you know like marriage potential or someone that they can potentially have a long-term connection with so yeah that is really great for you okay i'm gonna go ahead and pick some cards from the moonology deck to see what other messages we have oh we got surrender to the divine yeah now is really the time for you to trust divine timing trust that things will happen for you i'm seeing full moon it's actually crazy because i filmed this on the aquarius full moon so i feel like the vibes of that full moon are still there you know that full moons are a really good time to manifest things and you know aquarius i feel like is you know, it has a lot to do with the future. Like, you know, they're known to be kind of like a techie, futuristic card. I like to translate that into like them really worrying about your, or not worrying, but like them considering their future. And like, you know, whenever they do think about their future, they want you to be in it. Like, you know, that's exactly what I was saying. So um, yeah, I, I channeled the star card, which is, you know, the major arcana card, even though we didn't draw it here. Um, and, but the star card is all about like having hope and faith for a future with you so that is something that this person is definitely you know in the works of like considering and thinking about so yeah again like they just fantasize about like all the good times that you had they think that you and them make a really good pair they think that you know you really balance one another out um you know that you could have some qualities that you know they feel like uh they could work on a little bit more and you know they get inspired by you to do that vice versa like i'm seeing maybe someone could be an early riser like with the sun maybe someone's more of like a night owl or like you know there's some sort of like um thing that the both of you have you know kind of could be an opposite to track thing but i'm also seeing mostly about like you know just feeling balanced so i feel like this person feels really balanced with you um or like they feel like this connection is really balanced and um, they really see you as someone that they can grow with and build with, which is really important to them. I feel like this person really does care about being with people that are conducive to their growth and, you know, people that will be good for their future. I, I see that this person, you know, um, 
pays a lot of like attention to that. So again, they don't choose just anyone and everyone. Trust me when I say that. Um, at least not to be with in the long run. Yeah, we also got expect powerful change. So yeah, I feel like major changes are coming about in this relationship. Um, oh my gosh, like I can literally feel the energy. We got like full moon and new moon. So I feel like there's some sort of like cycle that's being completed, you know, whenever we get the both of this these two cards you know that are on the opposite ends i feel like um things are finally shifting and they're going to manifest itself in the 3d i feel like a huge transformation is happening for this connection so if there has been something that you have been waiting on like whether that be this person coming forward and making a move or asking for something more um asking for more commitment or even just an explanation or apology or whatever it is that you are waiting for i feel like you're gonna get that and then some so that is really great yeah um okay if you have been manifesting this person this is a sign that it's working every time we draw the seven of pentacles this is a surefire sign that your manifestations are working so if you are the kind of person that likes to look for those signs this is it this is your sign so yeah okay um i'm gonna go ahead and pick some cards from my handwritten love oracle deck um to see what other messages they have for you Okay, we got I look for you in others. Yeah, this person does look for you in everyone they meet, okay? I feel like you have this quality that literally no one has, okay? And, you know, it's just, it's not the same with anyone else. I mean, they could meet someone who, you know, could be a little bit similar to you, but the way that you make them feel is something that they have not been finding with anyone else and something that they don't even think they can find with anyone else. I mean, I feel like with all this earth energy, this person is fixated on you, okay? I feel like this person is really stubborn about making things work with you, so, yeah that's a really big thing yeah and in terms of the signs if you're wondering i am getting taurus virgo capricorn energy leo energy and sagittarius energy so maybe someone could be that sun moon rising or venus okay i'm gonna go ahead and pick a couple more cards from my love oracle deck okay wow what did i say about this person being fixated on you not only are they fixated they are a little bit possessive they don't want to see you with anyone else i feel like you know um they're going to be making their way back into your life okay if you are in separation or no contact or and for those of you guys that you know are in contact with this person i feel like this person is going to be making moves okay they are really going to be making some moves to show you that they are serious and that they are in it for the long run okay that's what it, um i feel like that's a good clarification to this expect powerful change card okay like you're going to be seeing major changes in this connection yeah we also got i care deeply so yeah this person really does care deeply about you and you just make them feel a certain way you know like no one has maybe either no one or very few people have made them feel this way so yeah again consider yourselves lucky but they really do care deeply about you so if maybe this person shows some kind of front because i did get a lot of earthy energy and you know it's just a thing that like earth signs like you know i'm an earth sign myself and i can say like i'm not the best at express expressing my emotions but i still feel things deep down and, you know there have been times where i've definitely not expressed what i was truly feeling in order to just you know save face or award rejection or something like that so i feel like that could be the case in this connection with them maybe Maybe even with you so i am seeing that this person is going to um express that a lot more okay they're going to express they care about you um in a lot of different ways actually again powerful change like i'm seeing this person could even be like you know um i'm seeing maybe their love language could be like acts of services or a physical touch or gift giving or like just expect to be spoiled okay like that's the biggest thing that i'm seeing here or one of the major messages with all this earthy energy so yeah i mean this could be like being spoiled with love and affection or like literal physical gifts or just communication you know um whatever it is i feel like you are going to be really satisfied with the outcome so that is really exciting for you pal one um okay i am going to end the reading right here i hope that this helped i hope that this resonated you know take what resonates and leave what doesn't you always have free will in your reality if this pile didn't resonate don't worry too much you can of course go ahead and pick another pile i also do want to let you know that i offer in-depth video readings so if you are interested in getting personal questions answered be sure to check out the description box below where you can sign up for a video reading and yeah i will end the reading right here thank you so much love and light Hello Pile 2, welcome to your reading. So you all pick this beautiful pyrite. So yeah, we're going to go ahead and pick some cards to see how your person is currently feeling. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and pick some cards from the Thelema tarot deck, my very first tarot deck. I always feel like I get the best, most like seamless messages with these cards. So yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and shuffle it a bit. 
can go ahead and pick some cards. Ooh, we got the Queen of Pentacles. Wow, okay, this person really admires your independence. They really admire um, everything that you embody, okay? I feel like to this person, you really um, embody integrity, authenticity. You know, you're someone that has a lot to offer, and you're also the kind of pe person that people want to offer a lot too, you know, with this pentacles here. Yeah, I feel like this person really wants to like be able to offer you something long term, like something more committed. Um, they see you as wifey material, hands down. Anytime I draw the queen, that is wifey material or husband material, you know, um, queen, king. Yeah, so I feel like they think that, you know, you are really practical. You are... Uh, someone who is ambitious, someone who cares a lot about their future, and they find that to be really attractive. Um, no hate to anyone that they've dated in the past, but I feel like they could have been dating, like, you know, really immature people in the past that kind of had no semblance of what they wanted to do with their life. Like, they, they kind of just did not really um, have it figured out, which is totally fine. It's totally valid. Um, but I... Get, I'm getting that this person definitely feels like you do have things figured out and you know that to them is really attractive because either you know that kind of motivates them to figure their life out or like you know maybe um, you know they like that you're on the same page maybe they already have their life figured out regardless of whatever that reason is like I, I'm seeing that this person finds your personality your ambition your drive to be really attractive okay they think that you know um, you are like the perfect partner for them I'm even um, getting like spiritual downloads of like, you know, someone's family members or friends saying how great you were. Um, they definitely ask about you. I don't know if you know that, but like your friends, your person's friends know about you, even if you don't think they do. Yes, they do. Um, and they ask about you. Okay. They, um, I feel like your person has like said really good things to them. Um, and or even if you just met their friends like they can tell that you are a solid person okay like you have so much to give so much to offer and you are that perfect partner i'm even seeing something to do with like them their friends being a little bit jealous that you know they cuffed you first um instead of their friends so yeah okay we got the three of pentacles okay a lot of earth energy coming in here i'm getting taurus virgo capricorn someone could be that sun moon rising or venus um so with the three of pentacles i am seeing that this person cares a lot about their job or their finances or work you know something just to do with the material life so i am seeing they are hard at work on that they are you know figuring um things out in that realm um i'm also seeing that a part of it could have to do with impressing you you know they want like you to think that they have their life together or they're at least you know um taking steps to make sure they have their life together yeah but i do feel like you know they are hard at work in that realm so you know if you feel like maybe this person has been ignoring you or like you know maybe not talking as much um unless you know for a fact they're seeing someone else i'm seeing like the only real third party here is work okay it's their career it's their finances um again i feel like this person and I, I feel like you're the inspiration why this happened but this person um is really focused on their future they are really focused on um bettering themselves in you know just the material realm in general so yeah um okay we also got the world okay this is really great i'm getting fixed sign energy taurus leo aquarius scorpio so with the world i'm seeing that you know your person and you are going through a really big transformation. Do you see the spinning chakras on this card? Like, you know, I consider these to be chakras. Um, yeah, that indicates major transformation going on in the 5D, okay? So I'm not, like, you know, people, if you're watching this, you're probably at different stages of your relationship, but I am seeing that wherever you are, like, you are about to like reach that next stage okay with the world card this has to do with like new life events like a new cycle so i feel like if you have been experiencing the cycle of like you know people maybe not committing to you or like you know kind of just um like leading you on or like there's something something along the lines of that like i feel like that cycle is finally ending okay i feel like this person is it this person is going to want to really commit to you they have been thinking about that a lot they have really been um contemplating that and i feel like in the spiritual realm in some other dimension you are already together okay so yeah um i just feel like it's a matter of time before it manifests in the 3d which you know we got a lot of earth cards or pentacles cards which has to do with you know um like 
physical, tangible things, you know, things manifesting in the 3D. So, um, yeah, that's a really good sign for you. I'm also seeing something to do with a turtle. And for whatever reason, um, oh, Viking helmet, interesting. Some teeth. Like, do you see this here? Like those vampire teeth? Yeah. Um, and some wings. So maybe if you see any of these, this could be a sign that, you know, something major is about to happen in this connection. Yeah. I'm also seeing that this person really loves everything that you brought to this connection, everything that you told them, everything that you and them talked about. Um, I'm seeing with this world card, you know, the both of you could be a little bit different in some ways, but same in others. But I'm seeing, I'm hearing messages about your differences just making you stronger. Um, so I'm seeing maybe you could have been into like... A certain thing like maybe let's say you're into spirituality and they're into like crypto or something like that like you know um you guys connected like or you know they really liked hearing what you had to say and maybe I, I feel like at times like you know you also liked hearing what they had to say even maybe though maybe none of you guys really had that much interest it's just that like you know this person really loved it when they heard you talk about your passion this person really loved um you know hearing you like hearing seeing your eyes light up seeing that like you know jump in your voice when you talked about something that you genuinely like so you know i'm even seeing maybe they tried um liking that as well or they tried researching that or you know it's something that like they could have asked you more about yeah um yeah i'm just seeing that this person really liked your vibe your essence your presence everything that you did everything that you talked about um yeah, even if they made fun of you for it, like, trust me, they thought it was really, really cute, okay? That's so endearing. Sorry, I, I always say that's so endearing. Like, if you've been watching my channel for a while now, like, yeah, I'm like, you've probably noticed that. Yeah, and I'm also seeing that um, for some of you guys, you could be of a different race, ethnicity, religion, or maybe you just had different backgrounds in some way, shape, or form, or, um, you know, I'm, I'm seeing there's something that was kind of different between the both of you, okay? Um, or, like, if you... Maybe you could have been into the same things but supported different things. Like, let's say you're both into basketball. Someone supported the Lakers and someone else supported the Nets or something like that. You know what I mean? Yeah. But uh, either way, like, you guys gelled along really well. Like, no matter how different you were, um, I feel like this person just loved being around you. So, yeah, and they still do. <laughs> yeah. Okay, wow. We got the Queen of Wands. Okay, so you are a go-getter if you are watching this pile too. Um, I know this is a love reading, but you guys literally picked the pyrite. Like, just look how beautiful this is. This is literally shining. Um, yeah, just absolutely love the aesthetic of this stone here. But, like, you know, pyrite actually has a lot to do with um, financial abundance or just material abundance in general. So um, if you are watching this, I am seeing that you are going to come into some sort of material abundance, okay? And it's going to be really good for you. It could manifest itself in different opportunities or an actual, like, you know, influx of cash or um, you being promoted or gaining more visibility or you being open to more opportunities. But I am seeing, um, look out for that and don't let those opportunities pass you by, okay? Yeah, that was just a quick little, like, tangent I wanted to give because I don't like it keeping my messages any messages i see i will tell you um so yeah do expect a lot of abundance to be coming in yes with your career life but also with your love life i'm really seeing like major changes happening in this connection for the best yeah your person also really loves your drive and ambition that's exactly what i was saying with this queen of pentacles but you know they really love the fact that you're very passionate they think you're a very passionate person um and they're really impressed by you they're really admired by you and everything again that you stand for and everything that you've accomplished everything that you know you are into like you know this totally clarifies what i was saying with this world card about them you know really liking you talking about your passions like you, you know that there's this like cute like phrase or quote about like oh seeing someone's eyes light up as they talk about something that they like i mean that is literally what they like you know what they go through when they hear about you know you talking about something that you like like your eyes make their eyes light up you know like i just see a lot of light in this in general so yeah this also tells me that like you know there definitely is a spark in this connection and that this person will always carry a flame for you for the rest of their life okay um i'm even seeing sunflowers could be a symbol so maybe if you see sunflowers this could be a sign that your person is going to reach out to you or take that next step or you know this huge transformation is going to happen in this connection whatever that looks like for you it is coming it is coming coming it is just a matter of time um yeah but again i feel like spiritually things have already shifted and usually things happen in the spiritual realm before the 3d realm so yeah it's just a mat matter of it manifesting in real life okay um i'm gonna go ahead and pick some cards from my handwritten oracle deck to see what other messages we have um we got i still think about you okay this person 
you're on this person's mind a lot. Like, seriously, like, I'm seeing that they dream about you. Um, even when they're at work, they think about you. They, you know, um, yeah, I, I was going to say they think about you in the spiritual realm, but I guess that's just dreaming. But, like, you know, they really do think a lot about you and a lot about what you represent, a lot about this connection, and even a lot about where they want this to go. I'm seeing that they have started getting a little bit more serious about, you know, um, what this connection really means to them, you know, the depth of this connection, the truth of this connection, the truth of who you are, you know, and what and who they are. And um, yeah, I'm missing something to do with truth. I got a lot of like messages to do with that. But like, yes, realizing the truth of this connection and what you mean to them. Yeah, um, we also got I have so much I want to let you know. Yes, I really see major communication coming in. And that too, like meaningful communication about, you know, um, something that this person has been wanting to get off their chest for a while. Okay, so um, do, do not be surprised if this person and you like suddenly start talking and getting like really serious and getting really, um, what do you call like, I was going to say hot and heavy because, you know, yeah, we did get the Queen of Wands. So they definitely are passionate about you. I would not be surprised if they do um, hit you up for that. You know, like, they, they, they think you're really attractive. Like, seriously, I feel like you have earthly beauty and, like, fiery beauty. Um, maybe you could have earth or fire in your chart as well. But don't worry too much about that. But I'm just seeing it's like, you know, they think you're hot and beautiful and, like, just everything. You know, it's like you can do both. Like, you can do everything. Yeah. Um, but I am seeing like, you know, a major conversation happening with this person. So do be prepared for that. Again, a lot of abundance coming in for you, Pile 2, regarding both your career life and your love life. So yeah, I will end the reading right here. I really hope that this reading helped. I hope that this reading resonated. You know, take what resonates and leave what doesn't. You always have free will in your reality. If this pile didn't resonate, don't worry too much. You can, of course, go ahead and pick another pile. I also do want to let you know that I offer in-depth video readings. So if you are interested in getting personal questions answered be sure to check out the description box below where you can sign up for one and yeah i will end the video right here thank you so much love and light hi pile three you all pick this beautiful green jasper so we're gonna go ahead and pick some cards from the thelema tarot deck to see how they are currently feeling about you so yeah i'm gonna go ahead and shuffle the cards um wow we got the king of cups we got the emperor okay this person is serious about you they have feelings for you um oh my gosh like this is really great like i I'm seeing that this person is definitely stepping into the more mature version of themselves, okay? I feel like maybe for a lot of you, this could be one of the most mature people that you have ever dated, or this could just mean that, you know, they are going to try to be, you know, the partner that you deserve, okay? Like this person I'm seeing maybe even could be a little bit older than you or around the same age, but, you know, um, I'm, I'm seeing that, like, based on your past experiences, um, yeah, this person isn't really that bad, you know, I, I do feel like you have kind of upgraded from your exes, or like, you know, your person definitely wants to be that upgrade, I'm seeing that, you know, your person is really serious about you, both these cards represent people who will be loyal to you, someone who is mature, steady, someone who is at that point in their life where they are willing to, you know, um, do more, have more, want more, um, I'm seeing that this person is definitely serious about you. Um, yeah, like, I, honestly, this person wants you. And, you know, they're even getting serious about their life. They're getting serious about, you know, their future, um, their career, life, material, life in general, finances, job. Yeah, um, I am seeing that, you know, because there is a lot of, like, you know, mature energy going on in this pile, um, they could be pretty focused on, like, other, you know, duties that they have, other obligations they have. I'm seeing maybe some of them could be the head of their household or, like, you know, the oldest brother or sister or, you know, they have, like, responsibilities in general, even if that's not the case. It's just, like, this person really cares about making it far in life. This person really cares about, um, just like making sure they have everything in check, everything in order. Like, you know, the King of Cups has to do with like emotions and feelings. And, you know, the Emperor has to do with work. It has to do with, you know, like I mentioned, material life, career life, finances. So like, you know, if you think of the actual Emperor of a kingdom, it's like, you know, they have their queen by their side or empress by their side and they have to still, you know, rule the whole kingdom. So I'm just seeing that this person does have a lot of responsibilities that they are attending to currently. So, you know, maybe if this person, um, like, I feel like they're trying to, like, 
balance that out because they really like you they're very much into you they really do care about you but you know this sense of self this individuality all their responsibilities and obligations are also very important to them so i'm seeing that they're trying to balance that out okay at times they could even be facing a lot of internal conflict um between you know what to do like they definitely don't want to put you on the back burner so i'm seeing if at times they have done that or prioritized other um things in their life like that's not going to be the case anymore okay i feel like this person is trying really hard to bring things into balance you know make sure that they have a balanced life in general you know it's really great that you got um, these two cards because you have really hit the jackpot with this person okay like if this person hasn't already shown you signs that they care that they're serious about this they definitely will start pile three this is so exciting um yeah you know with this king of cups they really have a lot of love to give they really have a lot to offer and i feel like you know because we also got the emperor clarifying this king of cups this isn't just you're oh my gosh like this person is not the kind of person to just give that to anyone and everyone, okay? I feel like they are pretty selective about who they choose to spend their time with. They are pretty selective about, like, you know, um, who they, like give their time energy effort and feelings to you know i feel like we got a similar message in one of the other piles so it's like you know this person it means that you know they really do value you they really do cherish you and it's like you know this is actually a good message because sometimes we're just like oh this person just treats everyone the same like you know what's the point of being with someone if they're giving the same kind of attention right so i'm seeing that is definitely not the case i feel like you are the only person that this person wants to give that kind of attention to you like i'm seeing they're gonna cut off their hose you know like their sneaky links or whatever like for you like you are that kind of person you know who is worthy of an absolute king or empress or sorry, king or emperor or queen or empress, you know, depending on who you're into. So yeah, I do see that for you. We also got the knight of pentacles. So yeah, I do feel like, you know, again, like all this, like these two cards, like they're great cards to get, especially in love readings. Like I feel like you are going to marry this person or end up with this person for something long-term and committed. But I am seeing that, you know, like with all this mature figure energy, I'm wow this is like the third time i'm saying i'm seeing um you know it does come with a lot of responsibilities like i mentioned and this person is the kind of person who wants to make sure that every aspect of their life is thriving so i am seeing that you could be kind of dealing with like a perfectionist um you know someone who really does care a lot about their work their um you know like family as well which is a good thing because you know them doing that really reflects how they'll act in a relationship with you okay do be careful like do be sure to you know be vigilant about one's priorities i feel like you know being observant about people's natures, seeing what they're into, seeing what they prioritize in life. And I know as obvious as it sounds, you know, it does get overlooked, but, you know, really being vigilant about all that really does tell you how they'd act in a relationship with you. So yeah, I'm seeing this as someone, um, something that your person really values and cares about. And with this Knight of Pentacles, I do see this person coming forward and making you an offer, okay? Um, this offer might come in a little bit slow because you know we did get watery energy and earth energy here um but that's only because they are really focused on their self focused on their um finances individuality you know this person cares a lot about bettering themselves and growing okay that's a really big part of who they are and yeah with this knight of pentacles i am seeing that like oh my i literally yawned when i said this you guys like oh my gosh knight of pentacles i know it seems like a boring card but it really does embody stability and i feel like you know this person knows that you are deserving of an absolute king or queen and they really want to be able to give you that stability they really want to be able to um give you the utmost that they can okay like a good relationship has you know someone devoting their time energy effort attention love feelings you know things like that like this person wants to show that they really care about you so i'm seeing with this knight of pentacles this also shows that um your person cares about laying a strong foundation for this connection um so that it can withstand the test of time because you know this just indicates that this person is really serious about you yeah their feelings for you are like off the charts i mean like this is the best card you can get in a love reading one of the best cards one of the best kings that to that you can get in a love reading, you know, cups are always really positive cards. Yeah, we also got four of cups. So, you know, with this four of cups, you know, based on the rest of the reading, I'm seeing that, like, you are the only person that really satisfies them. Um, I'm seeing that, like, whatever you have to offer them, that's not really something they can get anywhere else, okay? We even got a lot of, like, green 
vibes here you know just a lot of green on these cards and you guys literally picked the green jasper and the green jasper has to do with opening up your heart chakra so i really feel like you opened up this person's heart chakra maybe before they met you like you know they could have just been a complete workaholic i'm seeing you know you could be dealing with someone who cares a lot about work now but in the past it's like you know they really really like prioritize that a lot um you know, they could have had, like, sneaky links or whatever, um, but then they met you, and, like, you know, they saw you and still see you as relationship potential, you know, someone that they can have something long-term and committed with, and, you know, they got so, um, you know, emotionally attached and attracted to you that, like, no one else fulfills them, and they don't even think that anyone else could fulfill them, so, yeah, this person is 100% into you. They really are devoted to you, definitely emotionally. I feel like in terms of that manifesting in the 3D, you know, this knight of pentacles, isn't exactly a queen or king just yet so they do kind of have to you know get their life a little bit more in check in terms of like actually offering you what you deserve in a relationship um yeah again like this person really wants to make things work but you know again they do care a lot about their sense of self and individuality with this emperor card you know that does have to do with aries and that does have to do with you know the ascendant which is how people view you as so i'm also seeing that this person really cares about how you view them they also really care about how society views them you know they want to come off as the kind of person who is you know kind respectful but also like powerful i do feel like this person could at times have like and again, I feel like this is more of an internal conflict, but could have the need to maintain power um, in some ways, shapes and forms. So yeah, that is also something that I'm seeing, you know, um, they feel really deeply, don't get me wrong, but like, I also feel like their entire world could be shook, like, you know, um, were they to experience rejection or some sort of like dejection? Because I, I do feel like this person is sensitive deep down. And, you know, right now they're just trying to make sure that like they are, you know, seen as a certain like way like for this could vary for you know different people but like you know i'm seeing that this person like if you are asking about a male they want to be seen as like <sighs> kind of like the alpha male yeah you know just someone who's powerful someone who has um like you know say in their society someone who can't be like you know played and things like that so i do feel like there's a little bit of ego here but then it's like their deeper self their higher self is just like no that shouldn't matter what really matters is you know feeling good whole and secure within yourself deep down you know i, I also feel like this person is working on themselves you know on a more like spiritual and like personal level i do feel like this person cares a lot about like personal development so yeah i'm just seeing they are kind of busy at um, working on that because you know they know that you deserve the absolute best and you deserve to be with someone that you can show off and like you know since this emperor you know that does have to do with the ascendant you know which has to do with how people view you like they would love to be like you know someone that you show off someone that you say nice things you know about to your friends and family i mean trust me when i say this person really gives a damn like how you view them sorry for my language but it is true so yeah okay um i'm gonna go ahead and pick some cards from my handwritten oracle deck to see what other messages we have here yeah we got we can make this work yeah there is an element of stubbornness in this reading especially with the king of pentacles they are really fixated on making this work like they're not going to go down without a fight they're not going to give up on you this is the kind of person to really fight for their relationships so yeah i do see that um we also got i don't want to see you with anyone else okay this kind of does make sense we got a little bit of possessive energy going on here but yeah i do feel like you know this person would feel really bad you know or like heartbroken or hurt in some way shape or form if you know you were to be with someone else exactly what this says yeah we also got i look back at our text so yeah this person really does you know reminisce about the times that you had together you know this could manifest in like physically looking back to your texts and pictures that you sent or even just like imagining like you know scenarios about the both of you and like you know um thinking about the times that you had together so yeah um, and we also got, I don't want anyone else, just you. Yeah, this totally clarifies the Four of Cups because, you know, the, what you have to offer this person, they ain't getting that anywhere else. And they know that. They full well know that. So, um, yeah, even if they are posting, like, things are okay because, again, or, like, they're having fun. They're having the time of their life because, you know, that is what this emperor embodies. It's all a facade, okay? Like, I'm sure they could be enjoying life, but, you know, they think that you are a great addition and you being in their life would make it that much better. So, yeah, that is what we got for you, Pile 3. I really hope that this reading helped. I hope that this resonated. You know, take what resonates and leave what doesn't. You always have free will in your reality. If this pile didn't resonate, don't worry too much. You can, of course, go ahead and pick another pile. I also do want to let you know that I offer in-depth video readings. So if you are interested in getting personal questions answered, be sure to check out the description box below where you can sign up for that. And yeah, I will end the reading right here. Thank you so much. Love and light. 
Hello, Pile 4. Welcome to your reading. So you all picked the Red Quartz. It's been a while since I have used this crystal, so if you have been following me for a while, here it is again. Um, yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and pick some cards from the Thelema Tarot deck to see how your person is currently feeling about you. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and shuffle the cards. Ooh, we got two that just popped out. Wow, we got the Page of Swords. This person is major stalking you. Oh my gosh, pile four. Yeah, this person has been stalking you on social media. I'm even getting spiritual downloads about them looking back at your text messages, looking Looking back at you know the memes that you shared the pictures that you shared um, I feel like they are really like stalking you like major like big time okay like they're just looking at your pictures um, I'm even seeing like you know like seeing if you're in anyone else's comments or likes maybe it doesn't seem like this person would do that but do not underestimate this person's abilities to find things out okay yeah um maybe if you're asking about a guy you're just like oh do guys even know that trust me they could have girlfriends who have taught them a lesson or two so yeah, don't put that past you. Um, wow, we also got the Ace of Swords. A lot of air energy coming in here. You could be dealing with an Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or 7th house. Um, with the Ace of Swords, this has to do with mental clarity. So I'm seeing that this person has been gaining mental clarity about the depth of this connection. They have been gaining mental clarity about, you know, you and what you mean to them. And, you know, just like the significance of this connection okay i feel like if you have been in some sort of separation like boy do they want to just reach out to you okay and for those of you that are already like speaking to this person i'm seeing that they really want to have a conversation with you about like you know taking things to the next level or giving you some sort of insight okay i feel like they've had an epiphany about this connection um maybe we'll pick some more cards to see what that is but they want to be able to you know communicate something to you so do expect this person to speak the truth okay do expect communication for this person and do expect clarity coming in okay um i'm gonna pick some clarifying cards to see what this person could want to say to you um what is it that they want to um get off off their chest okay i'm going to pick some cards from the gilded tarot deck just to get a couple of cards on that um oh wow we got the ten of wands yeah i'm not gonna lie this person does want to reach out to you about like you know everything that they've been facing everything that um you know they've been dealing with all the burdens that they've been facing so you know i'm sure this this person is the kind of person who like you know is pretty vocal about what they go through but you know like I, I feel like they don't tell just anyone and everyone so if like you know they complain to you about something I mean like even that is kind of a big enough thing for them um or like big action for them big move because like I'm seeing with all this air energy regardless of whether or not they're an air sign or have air placements I do feel like they can come off to be a little bit like detached or um you know not super expressive about their feelings like don't get me wrong this person could talk a lot about things but not really like deep things that have been um emotionally burdening them so I do feel like you know this person wants to like you know um get like more real about what it is that they're going through um yeah we also got the nine of swords oh my gosh this person is really going through something i feel like they're even gonna like you know tell you about their insecurities and everything that you, they've just been facing head on um yeah and i you do see this like shadow in the background i feel like this person has been doing some sort of shadow work some sort of reflection yeah but we also got another ace so i am seeing that this person wants to also tell you how passionate they are about you and how passionate they are about this connection okay like they um will always carry a spark for you i feel like this person is going to come forward and tell you how attractive you are like you know what you ignite in them like you literally ignite this flame in them again i'm seeing a lot of messages to do with, like spark passion always carrying a flame for you um yeah this person is very very much into you i'm also seeing that this person thinks you're really smart they think you're really intellectual um you guys got along really well like conversationally you probably had a lot in common i'm also seeing that you know while this person thinks you are super duper freaking smoking hot um they also really fell in love with your mind okay they think you are beauty and brains personified so yeah okay i'm gonna go ahead and pick some more cards that is actually insane we drew the ace of wands again so this is ace of wands you know exemplified so um i am seeing a lot to do about a new beginning okay or starting a new phase in this connection or entering a new phase in this relationship whatever that looks like for you um i'm also seeing messages about how you really bought a lot of light into their life like do you see how this is just illuminating the dark cave behind it so i am seeing that this person is um they just like love everything that you've 
bring to this connection, okay? Like you embody light, you embody fun times, you know, peaceful, joyous times. I even feel like being with you could have like, you know, opened up their um, minds to certain things or like opened them up to other opportunities like I'm seeing something to do with gaining more clarity or insight like um, I feel like they learned a lot from you they learned a lot from this connection they could even think like you're really wise beyond your years or like you know um, you're just you know they again they fell in love with your mind and the way that you think and your perspective on certain things and not to be like you know rude or anything to their past exes but I feel like they could have dated like immature people or people that you know were not as like evolved and mature and higher or farther in their personal and spiritual journey as you are so yeah um okay let's go ahead and pick a couple more cards uh okay oh my gosh yeah we got the three of pentacles so i do feel like this person is taking their work life really seriously um i feel like they're very inspired by you to do that because you know with this ace of wands your person really loves how passionate you are about certain things okay we did get this in one of the other piles but like you know your person really loves hearing you talk about things that you are passionate about they love seeing that spark in your eye that jump in your voice when you talk about things that you like you know um it really does like i feel like it makes them fall for you even more and you know because of that like they want to be able to do something that they're really passionate about or you know i'm also seeing if that already is the case you know they are kind of focused on work right now they are focused on um, expanding their network, career, finances, anything related to like a material life and material abundance. So I am seeing they are busy at work doing that. Um, but it's like, you know, they still want this new beginning with you. I feel like they're finally at that stage in life where they're all like, yeah, why not both, you know? Um, and I just feel like, yeah, they really miss you. They really like, you know, look back on your at your conversations. And they also think you're really wise, okay? They think you are also really good at like networking. Like, you know how to pave um, your own way to success. Like, you know, you just have a lot going for you, which is super freaking attractive to them. So, yeah. Okay, um, I'm going to go ahead and pick some cards from the Island Time Wellness this deck to see what other messages we have here okay let's go and shuffle the cards oh we got healthy choices yeah so you know your person really feels like you are a healthy choice like this connection you know is really healthy I mean, unless you know it's not but like you know um they think that you and them vibe together really well and they think that you know you're a great choice they think that you know you um like again you're beauty and brains personified you're also very passionate you know so this connection really has everything you know they're also willing to work on this connection you know this is like a manifestation of the connection in the 3d however this three of pentacles isn't exactly like a nine or ten yet so i'm seeing although they feel really passionately about you although they are very much into you there's still a little bit more work that they have to do in their personal life before they can really come forward and you know pursue this connection because i'm seeing like you know with this three of pentacles this indicates that they may not be happy with where they are in their career or material life and they're working really hard to catch up financially or you know just doing something that they are more passionate about um yeah we also got camera wow this totally makes sense with this page of swords this says reminiscing keepsake uh, perception learn from the past making memories yeah so they are looking back to the memories that you made even if like you know it's not the text that like they're thinking about that they are thinking about all the good times that you had and they want to make new memories with you okay i feel like they're being really perceptive about this relationship they're gaining a lot of insight and clarity um in terms of the truth of this connection the depth of this connection and what you really mean to them and i feel like they even have keepsakes so if you gave them something like a card or a gift or something like i would not be surprised if they keep it near them when they sleep like i'm seeing something to do with a stuffed bear like stuffed animal like sleeping with them maybe you're someone that would do that or like you think that would be super endearing if they did that but um yeah i mean they definitely do value you a lot and like all the memories that you made and um if you were to give this gift you know, if you were to give this person a gift trust me when i say they would sleep it sleep with it every night okay wow um yeah yeah, I'm going to go ahead and pick some cards from my handwritten love oracle deck. We got, can we start over? Yeah, so this person wants to just start afresh, okay? Like, we literally got, like, three aces here, even in these clarifying cards, you know. Um, oh, my gosh, where'd it go? Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Oh, it's right here. I'm blind. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, uh, ace of wands, ace of wands again, ace of swords. Yeah, so they are really passionate about this new beginning with you. Um, with the ace of swords, I'm seeing, you know, they want to be able to, like, um, have a real conversation with you about this relationship and where it's going and what you mean to them so yeah do expect that to happen um we also got you're always on my mind yeah with all this air energy here you know air does 
have to do with the mind, thoughts, thinking. So you are on their mind quite a lot, okay? This person does think about you a lot more than you know, okay? And I feel like because they think about you, because you're in their subconscious, they could even be dreaming about you a lot. So yeah, um, we also got we can make this work. Yeah, you know, they really do want to make this work, like 100%. You know, they think you're a great choice. They really like um, a lot of different you know, like aspects about you, they think you have a lot of really great qualities and, you know, with this, we can make this work, this totally clarifies the three of pentacles of like, you know, getting to work and manifesting all these, you know, internal feelings into the 3D. So I do see this person, um, you know, putting more effort and like coming forth and like, you know, just being more like, um, outright about certain things so maybe this person has been a little bit complacent at times or like you kind of wish they would do certain things or take action or make moves i do see that happening for you at pile four okay like i feel like this is um slowly reaching stability i do feel like you know this person definitely thinks of you as like you know someone that they can be in something long term with you know future potential for sure um but yeah they are willing to work on this again so much passion so much admiration so much mutual respect and a lot of truth coming out a lot of mental clarity and speaking someone's truth okay so yeah that is what we got for you pile four i really hope that this reading helped i hope that this reading resonated you know take what resonates and leave what doesn't you always have free will in your reality if this pile didn't resonate don't worry too much you can of course go ahead and pick another pile i also do want to let you know that i offer in-depth video readings so if you are interested in getting personal questions answered be sure to check out the description box below where you can sign up for them and yeah i will end the reading right here thank you so much Love and light.